Old Colosseum slapped in the middle of city centre. Are you not entertained? It's a fucking thing of beauty, mate. This is seriously disturbing. Go ahead, big lad. So a guy come up to me and says, do you have a YouTube channel? And I'm like, yes, first time it's ever happened. We Spinks for old dude. What about you, big lad? Of course, it's yourself. Why the long face, hi. Ciao bella. So that's me, just left the hotel there. Hotel Artorias. Uh, overall, nice place. Can't really fault it, very clean. The man was nice. Uh, 80 quid a night. But uh, the good thing about it was, they WhatsApp you all the time. They WhatsApp you with all the itineraries to do around Rome and, and tell you about different things. Message you to say, listen, there's free transport on Sunday and things like that. And, so that was good. Slight drawbacks was a late checkout fee. Sorry, a late check-in fee, which I've never heard of. Said after eight o'clock, but I arrived at like nine. And they charged me 30 euros for that. I've traveled quite a bit and I've never seen that before. Maybe I've just got, maybe I've just hit lucky. Um, the only other drawback was the keys. There's five bloody keys. Um, off the front door, off the lift. I've Bob to get into the alleyway, sorry, the, the, the hallway for your hotel, a key for your room, and uh, a wee thing for the electric as well. So there's five different things. Safe to say, I struggled coming home that first night. I was able to open the front door, but I don't know what I'd done with the keys, and I end up sitting in the, sitting on the steps in the in the reception for ages. I was trying to text them, couldn't get a hold of them. It took about an hour for them to reply. And uh, he said the keys were, you left them in the, in the door outside. I'm like, oh, bollocks. So I didn't even, I was so drunk, I didn't even have the sense to think that how did I get into the reception, you know what I mean? So, yeah. It wasn't a proud moment when I went down to reception. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, when I seen him, couldn't show my face, I guess. Anyways, now we are off to the Colosseum. We've got that book, we've got the Arena 4 book and stuff. But first, I'm going to try and get a wee breakfast and coffee or something. And this looks like this spot. I might try this later. <laughs> Better. Actual pure orange, but then I'll shake you get back home. That's pure, that's proper squeeze oranges like. We've got a wee omelette coming. Not a big tomato fan, but they're so different over here. Bacon. 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 So that's me out of the wee breakfast place. So all in for that omelette, orange juice, two cappuccinos and a bottle of water. 21 euros. Did a job. Not so bad. Right, on route to the Coliseum now still. I still feel a bit weird talking into a camera because everybody looks at you. I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get out of my head. The more I do it, I think the better I will become, but at the minute I'm still a bit uh, self-conscious. People looking at you and stuff, but sure. I think every vlogger says that at the start, so um, you should get over it and then you'll get better with time. I hope. First glimpse of the Colosseum. 
There she is. Starting to get closer now. Look at that there. Sweet Lord. Old Colosseum slapped in the middle of city centre. It really is a thing of beauty, like. It's unreal. It's absolutely stunning. The work involved in that. Get me onto this arena floor. I slaughter some lions, tigers, and fellow gladiators. And that are Bullington. Hands down. We headbutt, booting the balls. Big grand. Man down. So I've arrived too early. Um, I was hoping I could just get in earlier and see the other things today, the Spanish steps and all in the Pantheon. But they're quite strict on entry times. Uh, you're allowed to go 15 minutes earlier, but not an hour and 15 minutes earlier. So crap. But I can go into the Roman Forum now, so that's where I'm gonna go. This wee bad boy here. Look at that there. So that's where I'll go now. So catch up a wee sack of there three. Look at this wee bad boy. Not wheelchair accessible. Not suitcase friendly. The Romans didn't mess about, did they? Better watch my step here, swear to God. I'm bad even on a flat road. It's like a big ass queue. We just have to feck and join it, don't I? And we're in. That was only a wee 10 minute wait. Looked longer than what it should have been. So here we are in the Roman Forum or the Foro Romano. I don't know why I did this. Maybe because I'm in Italy. So I could give you a wee history lesson about the place, but to be honest, I've never heard of it. Obviously I've heard of the Colosseum and the Roman Forum is right beside it, but I could sit here and bullshit and tell you all about it, but I know nothing about it, so just enjoy the video. And shut your face. Take a wee dander up here. See what we got. A wheelbarrow. Dead end, sweet FA up here. Oh, we people. A picture big lot. Out of feck all here. Down here, I can hear water. Just take a wee saunter down here. You're right, big lad. Don't they agree? I told you. I can hear water. Out there. He's got a missing walk and a missing arm. Life was rough for this dude. Look at that there. That's coming through the ceiling. That is amazing. So it must be coming from there, the water. Aye. Oh. Freaking hell, I was gonna go right up the start of that there. Thank God it didn't. Would have been swimming with a fish. Look at them. Goldfish. That big lad over there. Shark. This is beautiful. We maze. Mazes amaze me. Like egg mayonnaise as well. I'm out of breath after those 17 steps. My fitness is not where it is at the minute. Them 
Am I Romans didn't mess about, did they, with the buildings? Didn't mess about. As I say, Rome wasn't built in a day. I think it was two. Give or take. What's my foot in here? I'm gonna go on my hoop. Is that like a bin from back in 2000 BC? It's like a rock with a hole in it. Slap your letter in there. There it is there. The Foro Romano. It's, it's a fucking thing of beauty, mate. It's truth. Look at these, pure marble. Unreal. I don't know what went on in this building, but sure it was interesting. Look at the architecture, just everything is so grandiose. Right, we'll go over to these pillars and then we'll we'll make a move. Here we go, some big ass Roman col col <laughs> columns. Can't even speak. A wee Roman bath or something. Looks like it. And these bad boys. Look at the size of that big lad there. Unbelievable. Got the wee pillars here and stuff. You gotta watch your foot in here. I'm gonna go on this bit. That's better. Right. I think I've covered all the main areas in here. So, get back to the Colosseum. What time is it? Don't wanna miss that. 10 past 12. Be there for half. Or quarter to, I can't remember. But, better to get there earlier than not at all. So, yeah, catch in the Colosseum. This is seriously disturbing. We rent these, no barbie gun. Oh, hey, big lad. Fair, fuck them. Yeah. Bunch of rockets. Fair play, fair play. We spanks for old dude. What about your big lot? How are you cutting? Of course, it's yourself. Why the long face, hi. Thus, entrance into the Colosseum. Got this very orange number here, that means I can skip the line and I get access to the arena floor. Yes! We're in and past security, so here we go. Boston for a pistol. Boston, need an bog here. Oh, 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 yes. Now we're cooking.
feeling a bit like Russell Crowe now. Gladiator, here we go. Are you not entertained? <laughs> But yeah, I was the first one to do that in the Coliseum. Well, second one, Russell Crowe did the first one. Imagine the adrenaline pumping as you're about to walk out, knock somebody's melting. So I got the arena, the arena floor tickets, and I thought the arena floor meant down there. Christ, I can become one of the gladiators, but no, this is the arena floor apparently. Where I am now, but but the down there is even extra. But I thought the arena floor meant that's it. I did pay extra for that. Sure, it's what it is. And we buggers get down there. I'll slap that face clean off, Emmons. down there so this is like this was like a sports arena back in the day 2000 odd years ago give or take so sport has changed dramatically people used to come for entertainment watching people getting killed and never battered a bloody eyelid nowadays bloody hell you sort of like go head to head with a guy in football just a wee tap and he friggin hits a deck like a like a bell end. So it's safe to say sport has dramatically changed over the years. So here we are on the first floor. And you can see all over the arena. Awesome. So that's me left the yeah, Coliseum. Some spot, some setup. So all in, that was 22 euros for that, including access to the arena, not the underground bit. If you look in the underground bit, that's something else. But so don't make that mistake, because I thought arena floor access meant all in underground a lot, but it wasn't. From, so you can gather that from one of the videos in there. So, I probably would have paid more if I'd have known that, but here we are. It is what it is. So, right, what to do now? So, it's five hours before my flight, so first stop is a wee coffee. Not to be hungry yet. Definitely got a coffee, smoke, and maybe head to the Trevi Fountain or the Pantheon or the Spanish Steps, something like that. But my feet are boggled. I'm sore, I might just get a taxi there. It's a 25 minute walk. <laughs> I've done enough walking. Can I be arsed? Catch in a bit. Actually, on that note, I'm going to dander it. So it's only 25 minutes. I can do this. And then as I dander, you can find stuff along the way and stuff. So uh, if you get in a taxi, you might miss things. So let's see what we can find here in Rome. Coffee and street food. That'll do me nicely. Italian to the coffee, so much better. The shite you get back home. Shite. We pit stop, we coffee, we smoke. And then we're cooking with gas again. Where's me lawyer? It's a hard out life. Someone's got a bit. So, learn a wee bit of lingo, guys. I always say this to everybody. If you're going to a country, learn the basics. Hello, thank you, goodbye. 
Uh, and uh, what time does the bar shut? And how much are hookers? That is the basics you need for any country you go to. Apart from that last bit, that wasn't for me, that was for a friend, you know. So yeah, learn a wee bit of lingo before you go. Uh, I think it's appreciated. Most people appreciate it. If they don't, well then screw them, that's on them. There she is. How's it going there, doll? I haven't seen you in a while. Nice trees. A bit unique looking. Looks like those trees you find in Socotra. That Yemenese island. Not that I've ever been there, but I want to go. Yeah, kind of similar looking. Look at that there. Sweet lord. Another thing of beauty. Look at the height of it. It's humongous. Look at that big lad there. Like a Roman god. Flag Italiano. When the well runs dry. This well's not dry. It's just wild wet, hi. Wow. Wait, Lord. Some bird just shot on me. Sick. I tend to cross one of these Roman roads. Let's see what they're like. We have a zebra cross in here. Do they actually work? Do people stop in Rome? Oh shit. I don't know. Do they stop? Yeah, they do. Happy days. Grazie, my man. And we're alive. <laughs> oh, Peter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How do we dance with your man there? See that there? We, we shuffle. You. Okay, so according to Goggle Maps, we're four minutes from the Pantheon. Let's roll. There's the back of the Pantheon there now. Look at that. Big stone ditty on the top. Belfast waterfront has a big copper ditty. But this one has a stone ditty. Get the ditty on the top there. Slap it on. Oh, well, here we go. Look at that there, the Latin at the front of that. Something else. Magrepia Costertiv Mef. Fessit. Cutler said it better myself, to be honest. Look at that now. And that's a pantheon. So, I'm going to go back and get that grub. Does that look good? Just a wee tide me over. I'm not starving. But, you know, if it's in front of me, I'd slap it in my grub. So I'm gonna go back and get that we pit stop again before we go somewhere else. Maybe um, the Trevi Fountain or the Spanish Steps or both. When in Rome, I think I'm gonna get that wee bad boy with the prawns at the back there. Even though I want that too. And that shit, kind of both because they're big. Like that's massive. One of them could not both, but the prawns just looks. It just edges it. I always manage to get that wonky tail off. Right, we're going in. We're going in. That's not the business, that's the shizzlers. Oh my god. Prawns, succulent. Cold heaven. 
Okay, so that was a good bit of grub. A wee prawn thing there, that was about eight euro. So, now I'm gonna go to, I think it's called Piazzo Novano or something. Uh, I'll Google Christmas markets in Rome, because I want to see a Christmas market. And apparently it's up there, so stay tuned. Five minute walk from here apparently. So, stick with me. And as per usual, if I see anything along the way, I'll stick the old camera on. All yet. Another wee monstrosity. Built by them Romans. It's like a nice hotel, is it? It's so cool. Look at that. Oh man. Neat. Should have stayed there. Probably about 5,200 squadillion billion a night. Sure. I'll afford it in my next life. And here we have it. The Piazza Novanna or something. Some set up high. And it does indeed look like there are some Christmas markets. Wow. Slobbering, mate. Christmas balls, kids toys. So that was my short trip to Piazza Novano or whatever the fuck you call it. Um, so I'm gonna go to. Where am I going? I don't know where I am. Uh, Trevi Fountain and then the Spanish Steps. I'm on a tight schedule now. Uh, I thought I had a bit of time. And then I will go to the airport. Yeah. These city breaks are hard work. All you do is walk and walk and walk. Feet cut clean off ye. Um, I think I need to relax on the next time. It's on a beach. By the way, cock. Kill. One of them old mojitos. Slap that into me. Or what do you call the one I like? A coconut one. Forget the name of it. Pina colada. Stop it. Just sitting on a wee beach, chilling out. Maybe we dip in the water or something. These city breaks, like, honestly, they take it out of you. Just dandering and dandering. I must have covered about five or six miles already today. Um, I'm not done yet. Sweet lord. Right. I am six minutes away. Good old Google Maps, eh? What would we. What would we do without them? What do we do before Google Maps? Honestly, I'd be lost. I'd be dead. 
So I'd like to reach out to Google and say, Garmi Ogget, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, for saving my life. Cheers. Another mental building. Don't know what the name is. Don't know half of these buildings and their names. No idea, but it's another monstrosity. Don't build things by half. What's it called? The Hadrian... Uh, Hadrianium. Anything to do with Hadrian's Wall in England? No idea. So you can slap them in the comments there and let me know. Really should have done my research, shouldn't have. All I knew about was Coliseum. Um, and two Irish pubs. It's the research I did before I came. <laughs> was it? See if we can find a wee present for the daughter. Oh, lot I got him, my son. My son. See if there's any girly in here. She likes snow gloves, but. Mm. Oh, the footballer's class. Ibrahimovic, Maradona, Messi, class. Little Roman dudes. Rosary beats. What I got them from my dad, but God rest his soul. Oh, how the famous old rubber jammies. I love 69. <laughs> Chow Bell. Give me a Chow Bell account, I'm our big lad. Give me like, here, mate. What's your Chow Bell condoms, mate? Fuck all in here. Yeah. Maybe get something at the airport for. <laughs> we shall see. Here we have our cannabis store. Cannabis store Amsterdam, Roma. What is your ganja, mate? Class, eh? Cool. Hello, cool. how you doing? You okay? Very cool. <laughs> mm. No ganja for me. It's not my thing. Oh, look at that there. Oysters and shiz. Lobster. Sweet lord. We dad joke time. Why did the lobster get thrown out of the nightclub? Because he was getting it all at. Super Walt. Sweet. Certainly. Sweet teas. Oh, teeth, remember them? Giant cola balls. Certainly. Stop it. Right, get me out of here. We are close to the Trevi Fountain, I can hear it. Oh, stop it, look at that there. I'm going to put my bag in front of me, apparently there's a lot of pickpockets around here. And they work in teams, and it's... They're not who you think they are. It's not like a big dude. Small girls apparently, 16, 17. Let's get a wee closer look down here. in and make a waste apparently so there we go what a 
I've got that with me. No coin throw. Two seconds. And that is the Trevi Fountain, guys. Think of beauty in it. So impressive. Really, really impressive. <laughs> That was really nice. Uh, okay, another thing off the list, Trevi Fountain. Next, I have a seven minute walk to the Spanish Steps. And that should probably conclude my itineraries for Rome. Then I'll probably head to the airport, just get up early. Hate stressing out and um, when you're got like an hour or two to yeah, an hour or two to go for your flight so I prefer to just get up there I prefer to arrive early uh, you just don't know what the security queues are like as well so yeah um, yeah on the way to Spanny Steps and again if I see anything along the way then I'll let you know just on a wee side note about the vlogging it's actually getting a little bit easier. I was really self-conscious at the start, but nah, I don't give two tosses really. Um, there's still elements where I'm a bit shy, where I, uh, you know, I don't like videoing people. A lot of travel vloggers go, you know, they go right in their face, other people. But I'm like, I don't think I could do that just yet. I'm always worried about the other person, like they might not like it, might be camera shy or. Even worse, fucking dig the head of me. Um, but as for me talking in front of people now, I think it's getting slightly easier. Definitely not as self-conscious, like I say. So, yeah. Long may I continue. Use the force, Belfast Roamer. You. How much is that? Do you know how much? Ten. Okay. And for me, five. <laughs> Grazie, arrivederci. So that's my daughter sorted. That wee strawberry bucket hat looks cool. And my son got... I wanted to get him the Vatican football top. I always try to get him the football top of every country I've been to. Um, but the Vatican football top... I didn't even know that a bloody football team. Who plays up the front? Pope. Um, they didn't have the right size, it was all adults, so I had to get them like a zip up Vatican thing instead. Looks quite cool, it's like yellow and black. It's really neat. Here we have another monument. Of course, but we're in Rome. St. Belfast talks on it, what have we got? The Albert Clark. Albert Clark. That's about your life. Albert Clark, Titanic, and the murals. Crack and we spot Belfast. Oh, fast. I'm joking, I love it. I love it. So, right, we are nearing the Spanish steps. I can feel it. I can smell it. And here we are. The famous Spanish steps. Do you think I'm climbing them? We have an hour in common. I got to climb them actually, don't I? Have to. See what happens. Oh, here we got a wee fountain thing. Right then. I suppose I gotta do it, don't I? Oh. Legs are burnt off me. Right, I'm about to make my ascent up 
booked my I've, I've pre-booked my ambulance there so for a heart failure there it goes totally agree love totally agree with everything you're saying there Busted already. Mm. You can tell I haven't been in the gym in about a year. Smoking doesn't help either. Like, apparently, they're not good for you. Apparently. I disagree. Certainly. Deserve a medal after this. Fuck sake, there's more. Ten more steps. Ah, look at these romantic couple. Look at that there. Get a fucking room. Nice for the sun just coming in there. Hope you can see it. Fuck sake, I gotta go up there now. Oh. Wait, Lord. If I haven't put on any leg muscle on this holiday, I'd be raging. Hello. I should have quads like a rugby player. Look at that there, nice wee cafe over there. On the roof. Look at that. Look at that there. Where would you get it? Roma. Forza Roma. Oh. My cardio's gone at that windy. Better be working up here. It's alright, look. It's the sun though. The sun in December. Summer's day in Belfast. This girl just chilling on the thing. And I want you to get pushed over, love. It's a long way down. You doggy look, gorgeous. <laughs> Be loud, yeah? 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> we dog, what are we? We light up, jacket on. It must be roasting. It's a black dog, and the heat's going to attract the black in it. Be sweating like Gary Glitter and Smith's Toy Store. So that is my Rome trip over after the Spanish steps there. I just decided to get a taxi there. Couldn't be arsed wait on the bus. Uh, the bus was like another hour and a half wait. Uh, I couldn't be bothered. It was only £6.50 or something for that. But I couldn't be arsed waiting. Just want to get to the airport. Even though I'm going to be ridiculously early. So taxi is €50 Euro, guys. If you're looking to get from the FCO. The FCO. Uh, I don't speak hard. The FCO airport, not the other airport, it's 50 euros. Um, they tried to charge me 70 when I was over there. But I sort of agreed 60 when I when I came here. But when I hopped into this taxi, I said 50 euros she went on and he's like, yeah, okay. So always agree the price before you get in the taxi. But you already knew that, right? Light isn't even on the bloody board, I'm that early. I'm a friggin' idiot. It said wrong boarding pass. I kept putting on the friggin' one from Dublin to Rome. 
Greg and Buffoon always get anxious in three security. Don't know why. You have to put on your. Uh, I don't have any drugs face. But, uh, that's why I don't have any drugs face. So a pretty smooth process going through security in Rome. Wasn't even four minutes. Done and dusted in two. Where do we go now? Flights, gates. I don't know. Fuck. Let's see what the wee airport's got here. Walk alcohol. Walk. Go ahead, our big lad. Get it ready. Cool for the kids. North Pole. I was there three weeks ago. Traditional pasta, look at that there. Class. So. Oh yes, eating, drinking, smoking area. That's exactly what we need. Oh, we channel. Coco Channel, hard a bit. Much of the fags here. Marlboro Gold 4480. No, that's Marlboro Gold 48. I don't know what they are, Marlboro something else. Three cartons, 122 euro. Marlboro Red 86 euro for 400. Icos. 43 year old. Camel. Don't take that home with me, mate. Camel silver, 44.50. Camel blue, 44.50. These must be bigger pockets. Winston, 43 euro. Amber leaf backy, 45 euro. Just if you're coming to Rome and you want that wee smoke. There's an idea some of your prices like. So, yeah, that's it really. So. YouTube? <laughs> yeah, part time. <laughs> that's love the marker. I should have fucking asked them to subscribe. You sub, man. But no, I'm still not used to this, so lesson learned. So next person who does that, I'll say, flip and subscribe and ball bag. So when I went out late last night, I was looking for ramen actually. And there was nowhere open because I went quite late. I went at about 12 o'clock to get some meat. But look what I found. Oh yes. It's got my name all over it. So I just had my wee smoke. And now I'm waiting on my wee ramen. We bought the agua. World Cup final. Shaking like a shitting dog. Look at me. Was Two nights ago, was drink. Nothing, nothing Can't handle it anymore. How the hell did I do two weeks in the beta when I was 21? <laughs> I would die now. One hit wonder I am. Two days at an absolute push, but uh, I've got the fear as well. Not fear you get. Uh, just need to go back to normality now. Anyway. I'll show you when we uh, kind of talk. I'll show you my wee ramen when it comes. Here we go, wee ramen. Wee ramen. One of my favorite dishes in the world. Ever since I've been to Tokyo. Hard of whack. Didn't get it with a big nine inch knob. Right, taste test. Here we go, lots of shakes. Shaky hands are us. Unreal. Oh, stop it. You're flirting with me here. <coughs> that broth is or something else. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a wrap. Tell me I. Have you ever been to India? Well, bet that India. Leave me alone in peace. I'm eating my grub. Fuck off. What a game. 
Argentina 2 0 up. And Mbappe with two goals in two minutes. 2 2. What a way to spend your day in the airport. And then the main man in the match is also overtaken. From Argentina's point of view. Can't cope. Messi scored it to make it 3 2. Bit of a disagreement going on. And then Mbappe That's got another one, another penalty. It's 3 3. Two minutes left of injury time. I can't cope. This is the greatest World Cup final ever. Has to be. Mbappe and Messi just going toe to toe, basically. Penalties. The hairs are standing on my head. They have produced quality at the highest, highest level. Like, you couldn't write the script like this. I'm on the RTs. Everybody watching the World Cup. My, my phone was behind and everybody was cheering before me, so I gotta get on the TV. For me, man, <laughs> I'll cheer anyway. <laughs> this is the one, but someone's already spoiled it. Someone's already spoiled it for us, but we know Argentina win. But moment. we'll cheer. <laughs> we'll cheer anyway. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> On the RGs. Although we already knew the result. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> mental lap. Mental game. So everybody's gonna be saying, in years to come, where were you watching the 2022 World Cup Final? Unbelievable. Well, I was in the Rome airport. I don't know about you, but that was absolutely mental. Bit of a shame that we knew the result before. Like I said, the TV was two minutes behind and some guy fucking spoiled it for everybody. Argentina win the World Cup, Argentina win the World Cup, and I'm like, you wanks then. Fuck's sake, I'm gonna chin him. But, yeah, it is what it is. Got the right result. RGs, love the RGs. My second team to Ireland. So a guy come up to me and says, do you have a YouTube channel? And I'm like, yes. First time it's ever happened to me, so thank you very much. What's your name, my man? Marvin. Marvin. Paul, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Like, tell all your friends. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, man. I'm Where are you from? I'm from Singapore. Oh, nice one. Very good. It's like the world's most expensive country or something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. like second to Switzerland or something. Very yeah, cool, man. Um, where are you? Are you going home now? Yeah, I'm going to Dubai then transit. Oh, nice one. Oh, long flight, man. Yeah. Long flight. And were you in Rome just for the weekend? Oh, uh, what? in Europe with others. Yeah, 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 it's a nice spot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's a very nice, man. Listen, you have a safe flight, man. And thank you for subscribing. Hey, <laughs> cheers, you, man. Cheers. Yeah, see you, man. Cheers, all the best. <laughs> so that guy from Singapore, that is uh, the first subscriber I've ever got on video. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, it's a special moment for me. And yeah, I'm gonna put him in a video. So nice guy from Singapore. Bit shy, <laughs> camera shy. <laughs> But sure, so was I when I started it. So thank you very much for subscribing, mate, and I hope you enjoy. So after long last, and about three weeks in this airport, we have a gate. That was a long ass wait, wasn't it? Still waiting. Just getting a bit bored on that. Ugh, traveling. Things that you do to go to these countries, eh? Is it worth it? You bet your white ass it's worth it. Well, at long last, we are boarding. Thank God. Oh, yes. 
We are on eventually. Thank God, sleep time. What else? So, guys, oh, my trip is coming to a conclusion. The end of it, like, <coughs> I'm just home. That flight was a pain in the ass. I couldn't get to sleep at all. The trolley dolly kept kept bumping into people on the way past. It was like not fat, but it was voluptuous, let's say. No big ass. And she was banging people's elbows and shoulders and stuff on the way past. She must have hit me about four times. So there was that. And the fact that there was a two and a half hour delay. I hate that. Just want to get home. And then it took about 20, 25 minutes for them to get the the stairs on attached to the plane I'm like just let me go so Italy is over that was really good highlights were Rome itself the history around it the buildings are just phenomenal everything's just like oh, so grandiose it's unreal beautiful to look at the architecture everything the pantheon Foro Romano, the Colosseum, it's just like no other city in the world, unbelievable. Uh, another highlight is the food, food is second to none, even stuff that I don't really like. I don't mind tomatoes, but they just do them differently over there, they taste so much better, the olive oil on them, the oregano and stuff, oh, it's just to die for, or basil maybe, maybe it's basil, I got not oregano, outstanding. And last but not least, the two wee mates I met, the two wee Italian dudes, Francesco and Alessandro, great guys. They're only 18 and 16, two brothers. But like I said before, they're just so mature. They're way beyond their years. They're like an old head on young shoulders. They were great wee guys. They showed me around Rome. We played pool with them. They showed me like Francesco Totti murals and showed me decent bars and stuff so these were good guys good friends friends for life now we're in touch <coughs> so they're going to try and get over to belfast and i says guys the door is always open so come on in come on in anytime we will have a night out in belfast maybe um so yeah that's me done i'm gonna to go to my bed here and i'm gonna close the video now that is the end of the the italian the Italian job and stay tuned for my next one I will be in Moldova on the 27th to the 30th three days where I will be going to going around Kishinev the capital and the second day I'll be going to the only country that does not exist on a map and that is Transnistria so if you've heard of it so that's me done and dusted uh, and all I can say is grazie and arrivederci, mofos.